The DJI Neo footage is okay, it's passable, it's usable. Uh, there are some issues with the footage that have been addressed in many videos, including the sharpness, uh, the um, overexposure and other factors. I'm not going to talk about that in this video. What we're looking at here is the jerkiness of turns. So for example, your or camera up down movements of the gimbal uh, results in jerky motion if you're videoing in 4K 30 frames per second. And if you're doing a slow pan or not really pushing it, just doing it nice and slowly and gently, it's not too bad, still not fantastic. But the thing is, when you record in 1080p at 60 frames per second, it's nice and smooth. There's no jerkiness in the turning movements or the camera panning up and down. The problem though is that the 1080p video is not as crisp and clear on a, on a 2K screen as the 4K is. So when the 4K downsam is downsampled to display on a 2K screen, it looks better than the 2K video itself. And I was thinking, I, I, want, I want that look, but I don't want the jerky movement of the 30 frames per second. So what I've done is found the settings to use in DaVinci Resolve in order to rip a, a 1080p 60 frames per second video from a 4K 30 frames per second video. So what you do is you use optical flow uh, to smooth out the, the jerkiness of the turning movement. What you're doing in effect is inserting a, a best guess frame in between each frame and then rip it video as 1080p 60 frames per second. So you take 4K 30 frames per second, run it through the optical flow filter in DaVinci and then you rip it as 1080p with 60 frames per second. Now when you you're taking that 40k and you're re-ripping it as 1080p and that's giving you, if you do it at the right bit rate, then you get a 1080p that's better than the Neo's native 1080p. But you're getting the 60 frames per second, so no jerky movement. Now I did try an optical flow on the 4k and when I did that, so giving 4K 60 frames per second using optical flow to insert intermediary frames, and I got some pretty severe artifacting from the optical flow treatment. So I decided that I would just stick with uh, the better 1080p than a Neo's native 1080p with a 60 frames per second and smooth motion. So this video demonstrates the different results I got.